As one of the fastest accelerating and most aerodynamic electric trucks in the world, the Tesla Semi continues to be upgraded to achieve an even lower drag coefficient in its new version, preparing for mass production next year. To be honest, the Tesla Semi has been one of the most overlooked vehicles, mainly because very few have been produced despite its debut nearly nine years ago. There are many reasons behind this, but at last, the mass production line has been completed, and anyone will be able to order a semi-truck next year, not just large logistics companies. The new version of the semi-truck will also cost less, thanks to several adjustments revealed by Dan Priestley, lead engineer and program development head for the Tesla Semi. Imagine if a semi could be built in just a few minutes instead of several months. Sounds like a joke, right? But the new production line at Tesla's latest factory can actually make that happen. And ultimately, Tesla will be capable of producing millions of semi-trucks. Uh, well, not only does it not defy physics, we're going to be making a lot of them. So we're going to make a, 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 just a, you know, I, I think ultimately we'll, we'll make over a million, m millions probably, of the Tesla Semi. Um, and uh, this is really going to be something that we'll, you'll see all over the place. And it'll also be... Uh, autonomous or have the, the ability to, to be to go autonomous down the road. All right, so how exactly will Tesla make the semi truck more efficient and affordable? What's so special about its new big rig production line? Let's dive in and find out. Okay, from day one, Tesla made it clear the semi wasn't just another truck. It's a highway monster that can rocket from zero to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds. That's why Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, looked to Japan's fastest train the legendary Shinkansen, for design inspiration. And now, with these new aerodynamic upgrades, the Semi is feeling more and more like the bullet train of the trucking world. Of course, not everyone's a fan of its design, and that's okay. If you're one of them, drop a comment and tell us what you think. We actually read everyone. Now let's get into some smaller performance tweaks and, more importantly, a brand new battery setup that's coming to the Tesla Semi. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the long-range semi, packing an 800-kilowatt-hour battery, currently uses high-nickel cells, most likely NMC chemistry, to hit that impressive range. The short-range version, known as the semi Light, runs on LFP cells instead. But the real game-changer? Tesla plans to power upcoming semi-trucks with its most advanced battery yet, the HV battery, or 4680 cell. HV battery stands for high-voltage battery, and in this case, it's all about the 4680 cell. This powerhouse packs up to 300 watt hours per kilogram of energy density while cutting production costs, thanks to its breakthrough structural design. Even though Dan Priestley confirmed that the upcoming Semi Gen 2 will come with a smaller battery pack, that doesn't mean any loss in range or performance. In fact, the truck keeps its impressive driving distance, boosted by a 7% efficiency gain from improved aerodynamics we mentioned earlier. A smaller, more affordable pack also means less weight and lower operating costs, a win-win for both Tesla and its customers. We've long predicted that the Tesla Semi would make the switch to the 4680 battery, and it just makes sense. Why reserve Tesla's most advanced battery for the Cybertruck alone? The 4680 delivers outstanding power, efficiency, and cost effectiveness. Exactly what a Class 8 truck needs. Plus, with Tesla producing these cells right at the Nevada Gigafactory, building and integrating battery packs for the Semi becomes faster, simpler, and more efficient than ever. As in the image of the upgraded and changed parts, Dan Priestley also mentioned design improvements such as new rearview mirrors for better visibility and more aerodynamics. In addition, the Tesla Semi also has drop glass, added. Right now, Tesla Semi prototypes come equipped with traditional side mirrors. Each mirror houses three integrated cameras, working together with a camera monitor system, that streams live footage to a pair of 15-inch displays inside the cabin. This setup not only satisfies U.S. regulations but also boosts aerodynamics and gives drivers a full 360-degree view, no blind spots. What's still up in the air, though, is what Tesla's planning for the Gen 2 mirrors. They might pack in even more cameras, totally possible. Or, as Dan Priestley hinted, the new design could make the semi even more aerodynamic while enhancing visibility. That could mean smaller physical mirrors paired with smarter, more advanced camera tech. Personally, we're hoping Tesla keeps some form of physical mirrors they just make sense for a truck like this. What do you think? Drop your prediction in the comments. One new feature we do know about is the addition of drop glass. Now, if you're wondering what that even means, you're not alone. Essentially, the driver's seat in the Tesla Semi is centered, and the cameras do a great job minimizing blind spots. But here's the catch when drivers need to interact with things like gates or checkpoints. 
it's not exactly convenient to open the entire cabin door just to talk to someone or hand over documents. The new drop glass, likely a lowerable side window, should solve that problem and make real-world trucking a lot smoother. In the past few years, many, though not all of Tesla's refreshed models have rolled out with a sleek new light bar, a distinctive design cue that Elon Musk seems to be turning into a brand signature. According to a report from Next Big Future, the Tesla Semi's latest update features redesigned headlights with a modern LED light bar, a potential sleeper cab for long-haul comfort, and improved aerodynamics boasting a drag coefficient of 0.36, about 30% better than diesel trucks. It also packs a tri-motor powertrain delivering a 7% boost in efficiency. The updated headlights could give the Semi a more distinctive look compared to earlier prototypes. Naturally, the light bar itself wouldn't serve as the main headlights. Those will likely sit just below it, handling the actual road illumination. From our view, the refreshed design definitely feels modern and perfectly aligned with Tesla's current design language. What about you? Would you like to see the Semi rocking this new look? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. In addition, Tesla's plan to add a sleeper cab to the Semi isn't just a rumor anymore. It's happening. We'd confidently bet on it. Why? Because Dan Priestley himself mentioned it some time ago, we remember it clearly. Around last year, he said the Semi would eventually come with a sleeper cab, giving drivers the ability to rest comfortably during multi-day long-haul trips. Honestly, this might be the most exciting update yet for the next-gen Semi. Sleep is a huge deal for truckers. Fatigue is one of the top causes of trucking accidents on cross-country routes that stretch for thousands of miles. The current Semi doesn't have a dedicated sleeping area even though the cabin is spacious enough to suggest the potential. That's understandable for early prototypes focused on testing, but once full production ramps up, a sleeper cab will be practically essential. What's still unclear is how Tesla will implement it. Will they extend the cabin backward or reconfigure the interior to make space within the existing layout? Hard to say for now, but either way, it's an exciting step forward. Next Big Future also reported that the updated Semi will feature improved aerodynamics with a lower drag coefficient. The current prototype sits at about 0.40, but with tweaks to the glass and mirrors, that number could drop to 0.36. Okay, that's a big deal. Smoother airflow means better acceleration and improved energy efficiency, helping the Semi push even further ahead of traditional diesel trucks. As we've pointed out before, the Tesla Semi's electric motor and battery system are far simpler than the intricate diesel engines found in conventional trucks. This streamlined design drastically reduces the number of moving parts and cuts down assembly time making large-scale production far more feasible. Elon Musk has mentioned a long-term goal of producing 50,000 units per year, and while that's unlikely to happen next year, it's not unrealistic in the near future. Based on current progress, we estimate Tesla could reach around 20,000 semis in 2026, an ambitious yet attainable figure, especially since the new production line is expected to kick off by the end of this year. Another major upgrade for the Semi Gen 2 will be the introduction of supervised full self-driving. Now you might think, there's no way a massive truck can safely drive itself on public roads, but Tesla is seriously planning to debut it with the 2026 model. This move fits squarely into Tesla's broader mission to modernize freight logistics and make truck driving more accessible. From our perspective, this isn't just another software update, it's a transformative leap forward that could redefine the entire heavy-duty transport sector. Why? because FSD on the Semi Gen 2 could allow the truck to operate for far longer stretches without constant driver input. That means reduced fatigue, fewer health risks, and dramatically improved supply chain efficiency, something logistics companies have been chasing for decades. Of course, the key term here is supervised. The driver will still be in the cabin monitoring the system, but won't need to keep their hands on the wheel for most of the journey. Tesla's advanced sensor suite and AI processing enable the Semi to interpret massive amounts of real-time data, letting it safely handle everything from busy interstates to tight loading docks. Still, it's impossible to ignore the challenges. Rolling out FSD in an 80,000-pound truck is bound to raise eyebrows, not just from regulators, but from the public and driver unions as well. Any mishap, even a minor one, could ignite controversy and bring up tough questions about the safety and accountability of AI-driven transport. And beyond that, there's the long-term question of jobs. If Tesla ever transitions to unsupervised autonomy, it could reshape, or even shrink, parts of the long-haul trucking workforce. Legal experts also point out that any accident involving an autonomous semi could spark complicated liability disputes, shifting responsibility away from the driver and directly onto Tesla as both manufacturer and software provider. 
For all these reasons, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 with full self-driving stands as both a bold leap forward and a high-stakes gamble. Its success will ultimately depend on two key factors. First, Tesla's ability to prove that its system is safer than a human driver. And second, how effectively the company collaborates with regulators to create a clear and reliable legal framework. If Elon Musk and his team can pull it off, the Semi Gen 2 won't just be another truck. It could become an icon of the autonomous transport era, ushering in a future where goods move around the clock with near flawless precision. But if things go wrong, it could spark a serious backlash, making the entire industry more cautious or even hesitant to chase the dream of fully autonomous freight. Now looking ahead, we expect the Tesla Semi Gen 2 to carry a higher price tag than the first generation. Model. And honestly, that makes perfect sense given the scale of improvements on the table. Every major technological leap comes at a cost. Between FSD integration, aerodynamic enhancements, and the addition of Tesla's advanced 4680 battery, production expenses are bound to rise. Still, Tesla has a proven track record of driving down costs through volume production and efficiency gains. Just as we saw with the Model 3 and Model Y where prices initially climbed after big upgrades and later dropped once manufacturing matured, the same playbook could apply here. Expect a slight price bump at launch to reflect the added value, followed by gradual reductions as Tesla scales production. And frankly, the potential price increase would be more than justified. FSD alone could completely redefine the total cost of ownership. A semi that can operate almost continuously means less downtime, fewer accidents, optimized logistics, and higher productivity. Combine that with the efficiency and longevity of the 4680 battery, which cuts both maintenance and energy costs, and the Semi Gen 2 could end up being far cheaper to operate over time than any diesel truck on the road today. Over the years, the Tesla Semi has consistently been seen as Elon Musk's most challenging project. Fewer than 1,000 Semis have hit the road so far. Unlike the Model Y, Model 3, or Cybertruck, this massive electric truck has never had a dedicated automated production line. Most current semi-units are still assembled by hand, relying heavily on manual labor and semi-automated processes. This results in slow production speeds, high costs, and low efficiency. Last month, drone footage from Giga Nevada captured a massive press machine, weighing tens of tons, being transported from Giga Texas to Giga Nevada, using two tractor units and three oversized trailers. This quietly revealed that Tesla is preparing to deploy the Giga Press for semi-production marking a major milestone in the history of electric truck manufacturing. The Giga Press has turned Tesla into a symbol of modern manufacturing. It's a giant die-casting machine capable of producing massive one-piece aluminum alloy chassis components in a single press. In the past, automakers had to weld, bolt, or glue together hundreds of smaller parts to form a car's frame, a process that was time-consuming and weakened the structural integrity. With the Giga Press, that entire process is reduced to just a few minutes. Its efficiency is so revolutionary that Elon Musk once said, you can't understand Tesla if you don't understand the Giga Press. However, applying this technology to the Tesla Semi is no simple task. The Semi is a heavy-duty truck, several times larger and heavier than a Model Y or Cybertruck. Its frame must support loads of tens of tons, operate continuously in harsh environments, and still maintain exceptional durability. Tesla's existing Giga Press machines, which exert between 6,200 and 9,100 tons of clamping force, are optimized for passenger vehicles and pickups, and aren't large enough to cast the enormous components needed for the semi. As a result, for years Tesla has had to rely on traditional manufacturing methods, stamping, welding, and assembling parts piece by piece. Now, with the arrival of a special Giga Press designed specifically for the semi, everything has changed. This could be the largest die-casting machine Tesla has ever used, engineered to produce the Semi's main structural components in a single casting cycle. It opens up the possibility of achieving a production rate of one Semi every 20 minutes, a figure Elon Musk once described as essential to reaching the goal of 50,000 units per year by 2026. If realized, this would solve Tesla's biggest long-standing challenge, production scale. The GigaPress doesn't just speed up manufacturing, it also drastically reduces costs and assembly errors. Each one-piece cast component is incredibly precise, saving materials, cutting vehicle weight, and improving aerodynamic efficiency, all critical factors for an electric truck. The integrated casting process also makes the semi more rigid, reduces vibration under heavy loads, and simplifies maintenance and repair. 
More importantly, Tesla's investment in a gigapress for the semi marks a major step forward in heavy industrial manufacturing. If the Model Y was said to have revolutionized the car industry, then the semi could revolutionize the trucking industry. No manufacturer, not even giants like Daimler or Volvo, has ever applied large-scale die casting to heavy-duty trucks before. With its new 4 million square foot facility at Giga Nevada, Tesla now has not only the space to operate this massive press, but also the infrastructure to establish the first fully automated production line dedicated to the semi. This is the missing piece that Tesla has long awaited. And once it's in place, the prospect of producing tens of thousands of semis per year will no longer be a distant dream. The impact of this breakthrough will extend far beyond a single factory. With the Gigapress, Tesla can cut frame production time from hours down to just minutes, eliminate hundreds of assembly steps, and ensure consistent quality across every unit. As production speed rises and costs fall, Tesla will be able to lower prices, making the semi far more competitive for transport companies where every dollar spent on fuel and maintenance matters. From a technical standpoint, the semi has already proven its unrivaled status in the electric truck segment. A 500-mile range, 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just 20 seconds, energy consumption of only about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, and the ability to charge up to 80% in just 30 minutes. When paired with Tesla's next generation 4680 battery cells, lighter, cheaper, and with higher energy density, the Semi Gen 2 will not only be more powerful, but also significantly more efficient. If everything goes according to plan, 2026 could mark the year Tesla enters the era of mass producing the Semi, a historic milestone for the global transportation industry. Imagine a world where massive electric truck fleets operate around the clock, moving goods more safely, more affordably, and without emission. Every semi on the road would replace a traditional diesel truck, cutting tens of tons of emissions each year, a powerful step forward for both the economy and the environment. Okay, how do you feel about a world with zero emission trucking? Do you think the price of the semi will drop once mass production begins? Drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Tesla's semi, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss future updates. Goodbye, and see you soon.